did my hair in two braids the other day and it looked really cute until I realized this side is like an inch shorter, like two inches, an inch shorter. It's like pretty bad, pretty noticeable. So um, I have scissors, <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. I have actually done this before, don't worry. I've done this like, okay. I've done this successfully once before. I have done this a few times before that though. And, um, I've learned my lessons, so I'm just gonna show you how this is done. It's honestly not that hard. I'm sitting in the bathtub because I think it's easier to clean up the hair. I'm not gonna like rinse the hair down there. I'm gonna like use a precious square of toilet paper to like clean it up and throw it away and then rinse down the extra boring. But I do think this is more contained. <laughs> You should see my cats right now. They are sitting behind the camera and they are judging me. <laughs> so uh, first I'm actually gonna brush my hair and then I'll show you how I cut it. Really all you need to do this is some hair ties, two of them, and a pair of scissors. I'm using some nasty kitchen scissors and they're covered in glue. <laughs> I also have these little beard trimming scissors that I have borrowed from my fiance's toiletry bag and these are really good for my bangs so I'm going to use them there. So let me like turn around and see if you can see the back. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll brush it. I'm going to brush it upside down as well. If you don't brush your hair upside down ever you should really try it because if your hair is long it like gets off these tangles that you really can't get to otherwise so I really recommend it. My hair always looks so much longer when I brush it upside down. But I don't know how much you can see. So I don't know if it's still there or not because I actually can't see the back, but there was totally like a huge difference between the sides, so I'm gonna cut it again. And uh, what I do is I tie my hair into a ponytail and then I tie another hair elastic at the end. But um, the important part is where you put the ponytail. So the first time that I did this, I failed and I caught myself a mullet because I put the ponytail on the very top of my head, <laughs> like a high pony. So um, when I cut it, the hair at the top was like way shorter than the hair at the bottom because the bottom, you know how it works. So what we're gonna do is, last time I did this, I loved the shape that I got from my hair. And I did that by putting it like right here, like at the very back. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's like, it's like almost a high pony, but not quite. And I'm actually going to move it down just a little bit to be safe. So like here, here. So you kind of like put the, the bottom hair tie a little bit before where you want to cut and try to make it all like even in there. Like take your time, you know? All you're gonna do is like bring it forward like this so you can see. I have a little mirror here too. And then you, <laughs> then you just cut it. Ooh. I was trying not to get any hair on my clothes. I already got it on my pants. I feel like I probably look like such a caveman doing this. I'm just trying to see. <laughs> I'm trying to see and avoid like getting it on my face. But also if you do it in the mirror, it gets kind of weird. I'm scared I'm gonna cut my fingers. Don't do this right before you have to go out. Uh, do this before you have a shower because the little tiny hairs are gonna get into your clothing no matter how hard you try. I just want it to look healthy, you know? I'm not even cutting anything. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is that enough? <laughs> um, I think that's enough. I'm gonna take it down and let's see if it's right. Are you ready? The moment of truth. Let's see if I gave myself a mullet, hey? How does it look in the ponytail? Does it look alright? Looks like a ponytail. Please. Please no mullet. Please no mullet. Please no mullet. Oh, it's in my eyes. 
Oh, it already feels so much better when I'm brushing at it. It's not getting like stuck at the ends the same way. That's so good. Ah, I love it. What do you think? Is it even? It looks pretty even to me. They're like the same. You see if I turn around, can you see? Okay, so next up we have to do the bang situation. And last time I did this, I didn't realize, but it's actually kind of easy to do this. Um, the only problem is you want to make sure that they're even. Right now I'm doing like a long, grown out curtain bang versus hime cut. It's like somewhere in the middle. And um, I did it by accident. So let me show you how that happened. I don't know if this is what I originally sectioned for my bangs or not, but it kind of looks right, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's it. It's, it looks right. It's probably good. Okay. <laughs> this part makes me just a little bit nervous because it's like a little bit scary because it's like, oh, my face. <sighs> Picture just fell off the wall. Um. Alright. Okay, let's get going. Um, if those are girls telling me to stop cutting my hair right now, I hear you, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I've already started filming the video. I've been inside too long. Basically, I was just taking like small pieces and then holding them out, and then I was like, cutting like down like that. And I really liked how it was working out. And I just tried to like blend them into each other. So I'm like grabbing it with like a fist like that. Like here, let me try to look more professional. That's basically what I do. Um, I think it looks good. <laughs> um, I kind of want this to be a little bit shorter. So like, I don't know, let's leave it for a second. Let's do the other side. The other side's harder because I have to like... Don't I look so professional? <laughs> oh my god. So how's your quarantine? Are you getting any work done? Oh wow, I really almost fucked that side up. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting... I'm, I feel so productive. I'm... Oh, so I look bad. Okay. I made them the same length. Now I'm just trying to like put little long cuts into the parts that still look chunky to kind of like make them a little more wispy and blended. At this point, I'm all, it's just all guessing and going really slow because I've totally messed my hair up doing this before. But like thinking I'm making it all like wispy and nice and then I'm just actually cutting at the wrong angle and like cutting huge chunks out of it. This happened to me quite a lot. <laughs> this is still much better than it was before. It feels healthier. I feel like it needs a wash and a dry because this side is like... It's done, and this is all the hair I cut off. It's really not that much hair. So I'm not gonna wash my hair right now because I washed it yesterday, but I am going to go and style it for you so you can see how it turned out because you can't really tell anything when it's not styled. So that's how my hair turned out. And um, yeah, don't be scared. <laughs> it's hair, it grows, right? Maybe you could try it on a wig first if you have one. I don't know if that would work. Can you do a ponytail on a wig? And was that a really dumb question? Let me know in a comment. Please like the video if you enjoyed it because likes really help me out a lot on YouTube. I'm a pretty small channel, so um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Um, right now, I'm gonna go and take a picture for 
for the Dolls Kill competition thing because they posted that they're doing like a casting call and you just have to post a picture and tag them and use a certain tag so I'm gonna try it out. Um, here's my lovely set and my outfit. I'm just gonna do like a casual outfit of the day kind of picture. So yeah, I still love taking those anyway so I mean it could be good. But I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for clicking on me today. There are so many things here on YouTube that you could have clicked on, but you chose me and that makes me super happy. I will see you really soon.